Hey guys, what is up? Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out my channel as always. For those of you who are new here, my name is Daniel Akinpelu, aka IO from iosoundstudio.com, and my goal is to impact the world with music and to inspire and teach others to do the very same thing. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about what custom in-ears are and whether or not you need them to be an excellent mix engineer and producer. Let's go ahead and get into it. So what exactly are custom in-ears? Well, in simple terms, custom in-ears are earphones that are designed to specifically fit the inside of your uniquely shaped ears. So when you go to get custom in-ears, you first have to make an appointment with an audiologist and they take imprints of the inside of your ear shape and they take those imprints and they send them off to a company of your choice, whether that's All Clear, Ultimate Ears, 64 Ears or others. And they then make in-ears that are based off of those impressions. And those are supposed to fit your ears like gloves. They fit great, they isolate really well. There's a ton of benefits to having custom in-ears. So with that being said, what are some of these benefits? Because there are genuinely many. The first is that custom in-ears are normally extremely flat. So as opposed to other earphones that you get and headphones that you listen to, these sound really flat. So they give you a very objective viewpoint of the music that you're listening to and the music that you're playing or creating. The second benefit is that they have extremely tight seals. So one thing that you'll notice the second that you put them on is that even without music playing, it's already extremely difficult, or maybe not extremely, but pretty difficult to hear anything else that's going on outside of your in-ears. So they're really, really great to isolate sound and keep unwanted noise out. And because there's such great isolation, as soon as you are listening to music or your headphones are plugged into an amplifier and you're playing guitar, for example, there's no way you're gonna hear anything else that's going on outside of them. Like truly, you can just forget it. So that's definitely a benefit to using in-ears, but it can kind of be a double-edged sword because your friends can definitely sneak up on you and scare you when you are using them because you can't hear them approach. So it's happened to me before. It will probably happen in the future. Um, yeah. Another interesting benefit is that because they are uniquely custom fit to the inside of your ears, there's no way that anyone will be able to steal them. I mean, they can steal them, but in reality, they won't be able to actually use them because they're gonna really hurt the inside of their ears. They'll be extremely uncomfortable for anybody else to try to use. Um, so yeah, I mean, they can steal it, but it's pretty much a waste of time. So, you know, whatever. Their gain, but kind of their loss. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. With that said, what are some environments in which to use custom in-ears. The first environment that I would highly recommend that people use custom in-ears is a live environment, especially if you're on stage. Very often when you're on stage, there's a lot of different stage noise coming from different sources. Like it could be coming from a wedge, it could be coming from a drummer who's drumming really loud, it could be coming from guitar amplifiers, etc. So I highly encourage musicians and singers to get custom in-ears if they're singing live and performing live on stage frequently because it can definitely help prevent against hearing loss and it can just protect your ears over the long run and it helps you hear yourself better so i highly recommend any live performers to get custom in-ears the next environment that i would encourage you to use custom in-ears in is mixing in the studio i personally use monitors and i also use headphones and i use a couple other different listening devices but i've learned and i found that using custom in-ears helps me get a really objective and different perspective on the music that I'm working on. So anytime I'm mixing a song, I now check them on my custom in-ears, I check them on my studio monitors, I check them on my headphones, I check them in my car, um, I check them on my phone, and I check them in a couple other places. And custom in-ears definitely help me get a more objective perspective of the music that I'm working on. Because like I said earlier, they're super, super flat. So they just help me get like a bird's eye view of the music that I'm working on and not get too distracted by the frequencies that some of the other listening devices that I use kind of emphasize. I also think they're really great for referencing mixes and masters. So anytime you're listening to a mix or a master that you think sounds really cool and you wanna get your song to sound like that one, I highly encourage you to use custom in-ears because it helps you get a very objective perspective of the song that you're referencing. So. I think that's helped me a lot and I think it could help you guys too for sure. Another way that you can use custom in-ears is as a musician, whether that's live, like I said before, or if that's in the studio. Like I said, they give you a very clear picture of the things that you're listening to and I think they help you play better ultimately as well. The custom in-ears that I have personally are super flat, but if you play bass or you play guitar or you sing or whatever it is that you do, there are variations of custom in-ears that you can buy that kind of emphasize different frequencies. So for example, if you were a bassist or you're a drummer, you're gonna want to have a lot more low end in your custom in-ears so that you can hear your kick drum or your bass, for example. And so you can find custom in-ears that emphasize the low end more so than the ones that I have or more so than others. On the other end of the spectrum, if you are playing lead guitar or you're singing or you're playing sax or something that kind of lives in the higher frequency spectrum, you might wanna get custom in-ears that emphasize more of the higher frequencies and less so of the mids and the low end. 
If you're a singer, I would probably recommend getting something more balanced, but there could definitely be a benefit in having a little bit of a presence boost. And the ones that I have, for example, they're very flat. And so because of that, as a singer, my voice sounds kind of dull in them, and I kind of wish they had more of a high frequency boost. Uh, again, that's not a deal breaker, but I definitely recommend getting some with a little bit more high end if you are a singer and you're considering getting custom in-ears. And the very last way you could use custom in-ears is just for leisure. If you are an audiophile, they are a really great way to listen to music in a very deep and immersive way. A lot of in-ears have really great separation between the highs, mids, and lows, and so that helps you to experience and understand and appreciate your music a lot more than you could with other headphones or other in-ears. With that said though, I will say I have the RSM quad drivers and I'm definitely an audiophile. And because these are really flat, I think they kind of take away from the experience. In a way, it feels like they take away all of the EQ kind of from the music. And so it can kind of get dull after a while, but I think that helps you get a very clear and objective viewpoint on the music you're listening to. And I think that ultimately makes you a better mix engineer if you are a mix engineer or a producer. But if you are an audiophile, I'd probably recommend either finding some really good headphones or just in-ears because those typically boost frequencies that sound better and they're not quite as flat. Or you could check out All Clear 64 Audio or Ultimate Ears and see if there are some in-ears that are designed specifically for audiophiles. Otherwise, you might kind of get a little bit disappointed or be kind of bored with the music that you listen to if you get custom in-ears that are super flat like mine are. I'm starting to learn to love them because I'm starting to get used to them. But at first I was definitely kind of let down because I was expecting them to be like magic. Like I was expecting to like see into the matrix when I put them on, but they still sound really great and I've gotten used to them and they're excellent tools. And I think they've definitely made me a better mix engineer for sure. So with that guys, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out another video as always. I will see you guys in two weeks with a new one. And for those of you who would like to support me more directly, you can do so through the Patreon link that's down below in my bio. It only costs $4 a month. And there I post things that I don't post here on my channel. Like I post the behind the scenes of what it looks like for me to work on music, what it looks like kind of for me to reach out to clients and book clients and mix and produce for them. So if you guys would like to support me there, that would help so much as an independent artist and producer, that would make life a lot easier and I would appreciate a ton. Also, if you guys wanna check out my in-ears, they're linked down below in the bio as well. Um, it is an affiliate link, so you can check it out if you want to, and I'll get a little bit of percentage from the purchase if you decide to make a purchase from them. But I have the RSM quad drivers from All Clear, like I said before, they're incredible, and I definitely highly recommend checking them out. So with that, I'll see you guys in two weeks with another video as always. Peace out.